we're with the Galaxy Tab 7, this is the original one, year old, and the uh, Galaxy Note here. I'm just going to do some browsing tests, so I brought up uh, Google News for some random pages. And uh, so on the right we have 1 gigahertz um, single core CPU, on the left 1.4 gigahertz dual core, but both are running 2.3.5. So let's, uh, let's see what sort of differences we get between the two. We're both both are connected to the same hotspot, and um, in, uh, both have diff slightly different uh, user agents, but will in general bring up the mobile pages. So let's go back again. That was pretty uh, close on that one. Oh, I have to delete the page on this one rather than going back. Okay, same here. So, um, why the what have we got? Oh, need some more, need some more technology news. <laughs> All right, let's find the same article. Come on, Barnes and Noble. So the note is obviously a bit faster here, and a lot smoother too. To scroll as well. Double tap to. Oh no, we can't zoom on this mobile page. This is still loading on the right hand side. Uh, flash is set to um, on demand, so it's effectively off. Let's try another site. Um, trying to find the right. There we go. Why the Kindle Fire Nook? Oops, started slightly earlier on the left. It came in pretty close actually. I think we already had that article. <laughs> uh, let's take something from the from the front page. Um, there we go. Ah, oh, slightly different. Uh, there's the user user agent differences showing up there, but. Uh, Coming in okay. Another site here. This is BBC. And the note uh, clearly beating the tab there. And both uh, are showing the same web page. Let's have a look what else have we got here. Um, running, out of, running out of matching links. Let's just set up another page. Okay, let's try that again then. So these are non-cached uh, pages. This time the tab beating the note there. So I think the point to note here is that despite the more than double processing power, Android 2.3.5 doesn't really pull the best out of the, out of the platform. Um, the first version of Android to get optimized for dual core was Honeycomb, so uh, it would be interesting to see, and the note will get ice cream sandwich next year, uh, so maybe two, three, four months time, and at that point it will probably blow away the note. But today there's not a significant amount of difference in in browsing speeds, which is uh, kind of important to note. If you've already got a Galaxy Tab and you're thinking about Note, um, for the first sort of three, four months it may not be too much in terms of difference in speed. Although there you go, there's a big difference there, something's hanging on the right hand side. Maybe that one or two seconds is important for people, there's also the smoothness issues there um, and the fact that actually with zero zoom there um, the text is slightly bigger of course, the pixels per inch is the same on this as it is on this so you can actually read without zooming on the note, well depends what your eyes are like but for uh, for some people that would be an issue. Okay so there's the Galaxy Tab against the uh, the note that's just the original Galaxy Tab, not the 7 Plus or the 7.7. .7. Thanks for watching. So with the Note again, we're actually having a look at the pen capability now. I want to get a real close up. Can we see that button on there? You see there's a pretty difficult to see it in this light, but you can just see there, there's a button. So Nils is going to demo the, uh, the capability with the, uh, with the device. Okay, you push the button and you hold it on the screen. And we'll make a screenshot. And once you're here, you can paint on it so I can say, hey, um, second. Yeah, so good okay. for quick annotations.
And then there are features like sending it or whatever mm -hmm. you have here. Okay. But much like the flyer. Good for putting uh, painting moustaches on pictures of friends. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and of course you can save it. Right. What about the pen enabled apps? Uh, yeah. There are some. There is. I did a video when, we, when I went to um, IFA in Berlin. I was one of the first people to get out of the co press conference and start playing with the note and I did a video. I had no idea how it was all working. The video has so many um, bad remarks, you don't believe it. It's like, don't bother testing these devices, Chippy, you're useless. So, <laughs> yes. there's this S memo. My girlfriend right. drew, drew oh, this, nice so uh, you okay. can add something here. Mm -hmm. Or um, you have different uh, pen, types. pen types. And you're, you're just using the pen as a normal, like almost capacitive pen now, right? It's like your finger. Yeah, it's like my finger. You can yeah. even use your finger. It's like you can draw on it. And if you want to uh, zoom and pinch around now, you mm -hmm. have to use two fingers right. because otherwise you would paint. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good so you can delete it, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what does the button on the pen do in this mode? Does it do anything special? Uh, mm, it was. No. It's just going to take a screenshot of the. Uh, it will save in this time. Oh, okay. Right. But there are uh, gestures. So if you push the button and swipe to the left, mm -hmm. it will do the back trick. So if you're here, you can always go back because okay. the touch buttons won't work right. with okay. the stylus. Mm -hmm. This is quite annoying so for the first gestures. time. So um, yeah, there are just some other gestures. So multi-touch test, 10 fingers on, you want an 11th finger? It doesn't register. 10 finger touch. Okay. This is the uh, pen and try and put your fingers on yeah so the pen takes priority which is good for it's basically palm rejection that's good for uh, handwriting and now with the button push, uh, pushed it's nothing so handwriting recognition works as well um, and interesting it's got good palm rejection so if you start start handwriting nothing there and then if i start with my finger it takes priority always I can do that and then it just takes over. That's really good. There's a couple of little gestures you can do on this as well. Show us the screenshot and this, this mute feature as well. Okay, so a screenshot is just swiping your hand over the screen. Oh, okay, if it works. There you go, screenshot. Nicer than the Galaxy Tab, which you have to do the two button press on. And if you play now music, and then you can just put your hands on and it will mute right. and we'll resume. Is that not just using the light sensor? Uh, no, it's really... Uh, it's really touch. You yeah, to it's touch really touch. It. You can fake it a bit. If you see it, you can now swipe your hands down, so... Right. Yeah. And once you go up... So a little side-by-side -side test on cut the rope here, just to show that both are smooth. Um, both seem to work pretty well. Beecher. <laughs> Screen colors is interesting to note that the colors on the note I think are more uh, exciting than the colors on the on the tab in this case. And uh, but important thing is both of these devices have enough oomph to do that in a very smooth way. Yeah. Okay, so let's cut the rope on the tab and the note.